Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 18 of Silver Moon called Shinga's Love, The Grieving Doll. So we start off with um, Queen Beryl, Tossa Nephrite, and Zoicite, and wants them to look um, to work together. He says no and bounces. <laughs> and he's like, I'm out, bye. Queen Beryl's not happy with that. And so it's like, I was trying to angle like a little way, like, oh, he's not taking this seriously. Then we cut to where the parents talk about Shinga's girlfriend. <laughs> and we cut to where Usagi's late for school. Then Shinga was rude to this girl. And then we cut to where Shingo, um, uh, so the girl's, um, the girlfriend is Mika and gives him a present and then people made fun of him and the doll shattered. So these two girls went to Osaki and told um, her the story. So she's going to handle it. And then we cut to where um, Micah is being dodgy with the mom on the doll and then um, when the mom leaves the room she cries about it. Because she, you know, wanted to give uh, Shingo something special. And she did, because I think this won, like, a contest or something with the doll. And um, he just kind of bit, was really rude, because a, a bunch of kids were picking on Shingo. So Shingo acted rude to her, and that made the doll shatter. But he felt really bad about it. But he didn't let it show that much. But we, the audience, can see that he was upset by it. Then we find out that um, Micah or Mika is Nephrite's next person who he's going after. So Usagi goes to talk to Shingo and makes him go apologize. But Nephrite's there first, so Shingo's like, I'll just come back later. So Nephrite talks to Micah and, um, his, and her mother. And um, basically wants 10 copies and... Uh, <laughs> At first, the mom says, like, oh, that's a little extreme, but, um, Michael said, oh, I can do it. And so, um, he messes with the doll when he went to go inspect the doll. And then Micah starting to act a little bit rude. And then when the mom says, um, bedtime, she went, no, it's not. And I was, like, very rude. And her mother just like, okay, well, you can work. Okay, bye. <laughs> Then we cut to where Shingo talks to Micah, and that was like a no-go. So Usagi talks to Shingo, and she said, try a present. So Usagi is getting better. <laughs> so, like, she's not being as much as an, a ditz, as, I guess. Like, she was kind of, like, wasn't using her head a lot early on, but she's starting to use a little bit more. Like, as time progresses, she's using a little bit more, but it's still very funny and stuff, so... Anyway, so then we cut to where the doll that is tomorrow, and Shingo is making art for Micah, not using like, you know, just buying like a gift. She, he actually wanted to make it personal, kind of like how he was to her. Then we cut to where Ray is with the dude, and we find out it's actually with Mamaru, and they're at the doll exhibit. And he doesn't really like dolls, he doesn't really care <laughs> to be there, really. Then we cut to where Mamaru and Nefray uh, get got a weird vibe because when they cross paths, paths and his, Mamaru's like, "Can I help you with something?" And uh, Nefray just comes like, "No," and just kind of storms off. Then we cut to where the monster is taking over, and uh, Kyo to Micah, and also Shingo when he went to go try to give her the present. Then Usagi transformed, and now it's versus the doll, and the scouts come in to help. And then Ami found the weak spot, and so Tessie and Mass got Sarah Moon out of danger. And she uses TR and it's gone. Then Sarah Moon sees that Micah and Shingo are okay, and they're friends, and uh, Micah made a Sarah Moon doll, and she kind of got mad about it for it, like the next day at school. <laughs> and um, I was like, that was, that was funny to me, and that was in the episode. I gave it a strong A. Because they don't really go into detail with Nefri and Mamaru and stuff like that, or Jedi. And um, instead of I mean, Crystal, they did. We found out that there actually were Mamaru's, like, like four confidants. Like, basically the same version of, like, Sailor, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus. Where, you know, they're all, like, were her guardians and or protectors, I guess. And so... Uh, Jedi, Zoicite, Kunzai, and um, Nephrite are like the same thing to Mamaru. I've been 
So, anyway, it was, I, but overall, I really enjoyed the episode. I just feel like they wish they had a little bit more of that in this series. Because from what I remember, of course, I only watched through the um, next few episodes. So, they may talk about it. I don't know. But anyway, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, that's one for this video. So, this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the everything. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. Uh, I have no reason to do But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.